Hey, what's going on, guys? Once again, welcome back. DJology, the science of DJing. It's your boy, DJ King. I'm back. All right, so this next tutorial, someone asked me to actually go in there to Ableton, show how I would make a 128, uh, bring it down to 100 BPM, and then back up to a 128. So doing this for YouTube while the cameras are rolling has been an experience, I'll tell you. So this is a project that I made that does exactly what he asked me to do and I'm just going to show it to you real quick. I mean, we don't need to listen to it. it just it know it starts at 128 and it does an 8 bar count of 128 and then we do an 8 bar count of making our way down to 100 BPM so you can visually see it. Here's the song uh, and then we're going to jump back up so we're going to use eight bars right here to jump to our 128 and then we're going to do an eight bar out of just 128 down so once again eight bars 128 transition down to 100 with these eight bars we're going to play the song and when we get to the end of the song we're going to do another eight bar back up to 128 and then an eight bar blend out all right <laughs> so let me see if i could do it this time and make it as smooth as possible so i'm going to do file new we're going to go to our session view over here. Now what I use uh, to make quick drums, actually tr drums are already made really quick um, over in Splice, if you guys aren't familiar with that. Uh, plenty of things in there for you guys to check out and, and dig into. They got samples to put in sequencers. They've got already made drum loops uh, just to save time. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm already gonna use a pre-made drum loop which is this one right here and it's that simple it, it lives up in my toolbar and then you just it drops down you purchase the song with a credit i think it's like twelve dollars a month or something like that and you get all these uh different samples and drum loops and it's just uh, amazing um so i'm going to double click on that i'm going to bring that over the uh double click on the sample of the track and then i'm going to bring it to complex pro once again i'm going to select <coughs> our sample, I'm going to hit Apple D and then it makes our eight bar, let's say blend in. And then I'm going to hit the shift button and select both of these and then hit Apple D. And this will be our eight bars that we transition down to get into our track. So the track that I used, I just went onto iTunes and I bought the song uh, Twerk by City Girls. I'm just going to take that and move that into our track as well. And it creates um, our waveform uh, again I want that into complex pro and if you look over here the song is actually 95 but I'm still gonna make it 100 by the time we do our transition down um, once again checking out the waves we want to make sure our track is warped properly and right now it's kinda like off so since I'm not going to be using this part of the song this is where the bass you can see that transient right there it kicks in right there so I'm gonna go uh, set 1-1 one, one here and once again, as you guys are doing these, it's just good to know your song. All right, so once again, I hit uh, uh, one one there, and then I'm going to right click. I'm going to hit uh, warp from here straight, right? So it should put all the transients and all that fun stuff on grid. We could just scroll around a little bit, make sure everything kind of looks neat. Uh, that's off a little bit, as you could tell. Let's see, put that back on grid, and you can tell that you're pointer turns into different tools depending on where you put your pointer that seems to be pretty on right there so okay so back to our track right we got 128 here let's go ahead and listen to that real quick turn it up for you All right. it's just a regular drum nothing too fancy right but we got to get into this twerk girls because it's a twerk city girls song because it's time to do some twerking all right so i decided <clears throat> once again it's already good to have like a vision of what you guys want to do with the song and what parts of the song you want to chop up but uh, this part right here is what i wanted to use where it says step whatever the guy's saying so you can tell that's a little bit off it's not on the grid right there i'm going to double click on that and another thing to notice um as you're playing the song here the the playhead actually shows up on the track down here so you see i couldn't see it so i scrolled up a little bit and then we found out it's right there i lost it again so it's right there move it back on track 
So I put my play, uh, my playhead right there. I'm going to hit Apple E. It splits the track. I'm going to delete it because I don't want anything from uh, to the left of it. And then we're going to do work on our transition. That, that works the eight bars down from nine to 17. And then when we get down to our one, I want it to kick in where the bass kicks in. We get into that, get into the meat of the song right there. You see it's off. So I'm going to just move that over a little bit and Apple E, it cuts it there. All right, so this is what we're doing right here. I'm going to show you how, the, how, I, how I get this going. So I took that part of the song and put it from 9 to 13. It's going to do a little introduction to, okay, we're getting into the song, and I want it to do it twice. And by the time it's done making its way down to 100 BPMs, we're going to get into the meat of the song, which is right there. So let's just go ahead and listen to what we got going on. All right, you heard that, right? So right here it does a little, like, um, not very clean end on the loop. So it's work like it's gonna get into the song. I don't want that part right there, so I'm just gonna make up for it on the back end like that. So let's go ahead and check it check it out that one little part. Because he says I wanna before you get into the 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 first count. I wanna step is what he says. So I wanna make sure I get the I wanna, and then he says step right there on the one count. So. We can also do that over here, which is just like, oops, just keep going. Sweet, see that? I want, with, I want the I, there we go. Sweet, great, there, sweet. All right, so once again, like I was saying before, we want to put an auto filter on these because we don't want the bass from the Twerk City Girls fighting with the bass of the of the drum loop that we have. So I'm gonna take an auto filter. I'm gonna put that right there. We're gonna give it a high pass filter on that little sample, right? And that's just a sweet spot where I like to put it. I can also copy this and then go to the next track and then paste it. So once again, I just went over here. I set it how I want it and I want the exact same settings onto this next track. So once again, I just clicked on it. I hit Apple C, which is copy. And then I went to the next track and hit Apple V, which is paste. So now we have a little bit of a high pass filter going on both of these tracks and it's the exact same high pass filter on each track because I copied and pasted it. Sweet. So like I was saying before, we want to do a transition. So you see my mouse over here. Uh, we're going to go into mixer and then we're going to go into song tempo. It's always good to know your numbers because the song comes in on nine and then we're going to set an anchor there or keyframe, whatever you want to call it. And once again, like I said, we're going to get down to a hundred by the time the song comes in. So I'm going to take this and bring it down to as close to 100 as I can, which is 99.85, which I haven't figured out how to put in exact 100, but you know, we'll work with that. So now that we have that created, there's a one more thing that I like to do to sweeten it up a little bit, and the, uh, <laughs> the risers. I always like to put risers in because it'll like trick the ear and things will sound a lot smoother. So I have a riser here that I made, and we'll listen to that in just one second. There was one more riser that I used, which was called uh, Riser 4 over here on uh, my splice library. And just showcasing the things you can do, you just type in Riser 4 and then it pops it up. That's what I used. So I'm gonna put that right there. And don't worry, we'll take a listen to this in a second. Uh, once again, I like I just like things on Complex Pro. Make sure you do that. Very important. All right, so you see the wave right here. I want to make it louder. So I did, all I did was click on it. It brings it here, and then I could play with the track volume there. Sweet. Now, I tell you what. Let's go ahead and listen to the whole thing. All right, 
right. So hopefully that made some sense to you. So we also, now that we did the, the first part of the battle, we got to get back up to 128. So you see how long that took to do that. So we're going to do the exact same thing to get ourselves back up to 128. So let's go ahead and figure it out where that is in the song. Because we're going to listen to the song, and then by the time we get to the end of it. All right, so it's right there. I want to step. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all that. And we're just going to uh, go ahead and copy and paste it right there. So I selected them. Apple C. Apple V. Put those back here because these are the tracks with our auto filter on it. We want to make sure we get the I want to step lined up correctly. Is it one more over? <laughs> oh, I was off just by a tiny bit. So let's move it over here, maybe. <laughs> so close. I'll get it eventually. You look at the waves and be like, oh, yeah, that goes over this. Okay, cool. <laughs> And then, of course, I'm just going to select all these, copy my drums, paste them here. So we have the exact same mirror process happening on the front and the back. But we're just doing it backwards. So we're going to you know, set my anchor here. And then I want it to be 128 by the time we reach 61. So let me go ahead and put that right there. One. 27.62 I guess that's what we're going with and then of course we want these well I'm gonna hold in the option key and then bring those over and I'm gonna put those in reverse because I'm so different I'm so different now um, and then we're gonna take this one put that right there and let's take a listen to this to see what it does for you it's off a little bit let's go ahead and fix that it's probably because this isn't on grid not too hard to fix yeah this right here needs to be on grid Bam. What a difference that little bit made. All right, now let's give this a listen. <laughs> Oh, I had that little bit of twerk in there. You know what? We can actually keep that in there. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and Apple D. And Apple D, once again, is duplicate. It When it duplicates, it duplicates everything that's on that track. So we definitely don't want this duplicated over here. I just want this little tiny bit. So once again, I'm going to zoom in over here to the end. And this is what I'm going to do with this. So it... Uh, Gets me out of the track a little bit smoother. Uh, I'm just going to go over here and hit ping. ping, And it pulls up ping pong delay, right? I'm just going to go ahead, throw that over here. See how it, uh, when you hit duplicate, it brought my auto filter over to the next track. And then I'm going to, I don't know, I think that's like quarter note. Ping pong delay. And let's take a listen. <laughs> A little stereo effect I mean it's kind of cool all right so there we go I made it so once again eight bars in the front and then eight bars in the back to do our transition down listen to it real quick
pretty simple, right? And then we're gonna use this. We're gonna just listen to what we did on the other end. <laughs> Wow, that delay, that echo delay, ping pong delay is amazing. It goes bam, 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 bam. All right, so there you go. All right, so are you probably noticing as I'm playing all this, you're getting a whole bunch of red over here. Easy way to fix that. We're just going to go ahead and type in limiter. If I learned how to spell it, I'm going to put this over the master. So we're going to go over to the master right here. And I always like to make this as tight as possible. So I put that on 1.5 milliseconds. And then the release, I like to make that tight as well. So I put that down and uh, let's, uh, let's just take a listen to that. Turn the gain down a little bit. You only want your, your limiting or your compression to be like a little bit. You don't want something like this. No, you want it to, to breathe a little bit and just hold it down a little bit. So. Sweet. And that's pretty much how you do that. So guys, uh, once again, hope you guys liked it. Make sure to like, subscribe, share, let your, let your mama know. And uh, yeah, I'll be back with some more. Thanks.